Welcome to Canning with a Purpose, and today we are going to be working on kosher dill pickles using zucchini, cucumbers, and I'm going to do green beans that way too, because if I have enough, I should say, because I feel lazy. We are going to use Miss Wedge's seasoning. So stay tuned. Of course, you're gonna need a pan. Let's see. Back of the instructions says nine to eleven pounds of cucumbers, about fifty dash three to four inches. Three and a half cups of Miss Wedge's white vinegar distilled vinegar. So let's get three and a half cups of vinegar. I use whatever type of vinegar. It don't specifically have to be hers. I don't see why it says I just buy another product probably from that company because I've never used that type of vinegar. So we're going to do three and a half cups like it calls for. And three. And we'll call that a half. Perch done. We're gonna need seven and a half cups of water, I believe. Let's see. Oh, seven and one third cup of water. A little bit of a difference there. So there's our seven cups of water. I'm gonna turn this on now. Oh, wrong burner again. Turn that on, set that jar, set our measuring cup aside. And four, there we go. There's one third. Put that right back in there because it's still clean. Less dishes, the better today. Now we're going to go ahead and open this. Oh, this one you want to be careful with. Every time I smell this by accident, it makes you cough up a lung. It's good, but it's strong. This is hot enough. I went and turned this off. I went through the process of slicing up zucchini. Slicing up my cucumbers, which does pickling crisp in the bottom of it, so they stay crispy. And I have beans. All these... Plus the two over there behind me on the counter are going to be in a boiling water bath for 15 minutes because I don't like my beans soggy. They said pressure can them 75 minutes per pint and 95 per quart. I'm not doing that. I never have. And probably never will. And then I've read other places that you're supposed to can green beans in a pressure canner for half an hour. So, I'm doing it my way. So, all I'm going to do is continue to fill these up. I've got my lid back there. Sanitizing. I've already sanitized my jars. Figured I'd save that step two. The one step ahead of the game. Why not, right? I mean, if you got stuff to can at the end of the day after you get out of work, like I do, um, feel free to do the cheap, easy way, or the easiest way possible, I should say. Especially if you're tired. Me, I've been canning all day, so don't really bother me any. You know what? I don't want dill in those. So I'm gonna put the rest of this dill brine in with my green beans. I will be doing regular green beans too, by the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up so I don't bore you. And dropping my ladle in the floor. I ran out of dill 
Brian from Miss Wedges. Wages, however you want to pronounce it. So I went and grabbed a bread and butter pickle mix from her. She does have good things, so why not? Oh, well, there's one. And I got five more. And I can throw these in a can. So yeah, I did switch it up a little bit. Now if you have um, two different ones like I do, the dill and the bread and butter, for example, and if you are not able to tell the difference between the two, mark your jar lids. I put a little line on mine so that way if they do if it does boil off because of how hot the water is, which I haven't had that happen before, I have them marked so I know what to put. But if you're tired, make sure you tell somebody what you marked them. So you don't have a mishap and write it backwards. As you can tell, I've already started loading my canner. So we're halfway there. Now I've already got my burner on for that too. So that comes in handy. I'm going to sneak you back here. Because I have no room. Well, since I got this little bit left grab my pot holders and I've already got the funnel in there I'm good to go on that your zucchini pickles are gonna float a little bit where are the bubbles coming out of there I feel it a little too full I do that once in a while all right Come over to pan and dump out a tad. We're going to wash off our top of our jars anyhow. I'll make sure to get that one real good. Well, I'm going to do, since I know that's not extremely hot, I'll just set these in there. Still going to be careful. Just in case, better safe than sorry scenario. We're at three when I only needed two. I've been canning since. Oh my goodness, what time was it? Oh, that one was warm. Uh, seven, seven thirty this morning. So yeah, it's been a while. Now you see why they say to space your canning jars because they moved quite a bit. They were up against the side wall of this canner over here and now they're all in the center. Got some air coming out of these so we're going to wait for five minutes. Well, I've started removing these from the canning kettle. right here on the table let me know if you want to see a video on different ways to store your canning jars after they're filled I've been thinking about doing a video like that Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. 